Ladies and gentlemen, Dan McCreary. So uh, there's been a lot of discussion lately about this concept of canonicalization. I thought it was a nice big word, and I could probably squeeze it into five minutes to talk about one word. And I want to kind of give you an idea of what, in my mind, is goodness and what is evil in a big organization. Goodness is when you all agree on every element of every document that goes between people in your organization, and everybody agrees on the meaning of the semantics of this element. Evil is when you have many services built by many people over a long period of time, and there's no two data elements that have the same meaning, although they may carry the same content. So the evil is what we call the Bose model, bunch of web services. So how do you get to this heavenly area where everything is consistent? Is it just a word? How do we get there? So another uh, thing that I thought was very interesting was uh, something that came out recently called Steve Yegi's Epic Post. And he was actually thinking he was writing a comment on Google Plus to just his internal colleagues, but he accidentally hit the wrong button and it went out to everybody on Google Plus. And in this epic post, he talked about his six years at Amazon working uh, for Jeff Bezos and his six years that he has then worked with Google. And he asked the question, why is Amazon kicking butt on web services? So um, one of the observations he made was the leadership that Jeff Bezos, now this is kind of taken a, a look directly out of his email, or, or his post, it says, it's a fireable offense to exchange data using a non-public interface. So if I ask Tony, hey, Tony, I've got a jump drive. Can you slip me the list of all the people at that conference? We could be fired because we didn't do it through a public interface. And Jeff said, it's a fireable offense if any two business units change, exchange data without using a public interface. And uh, he was said, I will give you a pink slip if you are not using public interfaces. Google's attitude, on the other hand, was a little bit more laissez-faire. Ah, we're a search company. We do search. We find the right things. If you guys want to exchange data on a jump drive for a while, that's okay. Uh, send yourself a copy of the database, comma separated value files. Uh, we don't really care if you standardize. We don't care if you explain. You'll figure it out. We're PhDs. We can handle that. Uh, so much more laid back attitude. So who's winning in web services today? Is it Google or is it Amazon? I hear Amazon is deploying more new servers every day than existed in their data centers in 2004. That is Amazon's cleaning up. Uh, Google, on the other hand, has had to take a step back. Uh, they announced a huge price increase on their app engine. A lot of companies build their business plans out of that. They were going to go out of business. And yet Amazon has never never in their history increased, had a price increase on their web services and over 20 consecutive price decreases. Not only do they take web services seriously, but they understand their cost models. And thus, everything that I'm doing today is all being deployed on web services. So now let's go back to that, that evil versus good and let's take a look at what big companies are starting to find. They're finding, well, we can't keep doing point-to-point -point interfaces. These don't scale. They scale as n squared. And if we could only agree, and if we can only get data to go through standard interfaces, we can get to this heavenly phase. Uh, I'm a big follower of the National Information Exchange model. They're trying to do it. It's not easy, but it's possible. So what I want you to think about is, where's the crossover point? Where do we change from on the left just sending point to point, well, it works when we have two or three or four systems. Where do we decide to get tough on web services? Get rid of the Bose model, get off the order n squared curve, and jump on the order of n curve. Now, it's not easy because you've got to build a metadata registry. You've got to standardize, you've got to enforce, and you've got to be willing to fire people if they don't comply. Does your leadership have the balls to fire people for giving each other a jump drive? Well, Amazon certainly did. And we know now that Amazon's got a pipeline. They're moving things through it. You should do this too. And we hope that everybody gets away from Bose. 
builds your XML registries, and cleans up on web services.